Down here with Chance Nolan. All right, man, spring in the books. Yep. I know Coach Smith hasn't named a quote-unquote starter, but you're the incumbent leader. What has this spring been like for you with the experience under your belt? I mean, it's been great just uh, coming into spring, you know, having like the one reps majority, just been able to kind of just get a feel for the offense more. And I think uh, just having this extra spring, another spring in this offense, it's just going to make me grow and grow more and be able to make more plays for my team, for sure. All right, so let's talk about growing. We talked to Coach Lindgren. You and I talked about it off air. Mechanics, what did you work on this offseason, this spring, and can you show me what you worked on? Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of the things were just fundamentals and the kinetics of throwing, and I think just that, that lower body and upper body, you know, disconnection of when you throw and that, that stopping of the momentum after you throw. So I think that's just one thing that we've really been harping on me. And then I think just overall being balanced in the pocket and keeping that weight kind of on my back foot so I can deliver the ball in uh, certain uh, throws. And so uh, I think that those main things, just the whole kinetics of the, the throwing and the whole how everything works and to get more velocity on the football, something that's really been improved with my game, I think. Big plays, explosive plays. I know that has been a theme for you guys this spring. Mm -hmm. How was it shaking out? Yeah, well, I mean, that was one thing uh, coming out of the season that we needed to do better at. We needed to make more explosive plays and uh, create them more. And a lot, I think partially that was on me and my, my deep ball. So I think that's another thing I've been working on, just the deep ball and connecting those throws. And, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, so I think just making those more explosive plays, that they change ball games. So I think at the end of the day, you know, pushing the ball down the field and setting up the play action game for us is, is something we like to do a lot. So I think just, you know, getting, getting the ball down there, allowing my rideouts to make plays, with their, get their hands on the ball is something that, you know, I can clean up myself. All right, so speaking of cleaning up, you guys let a couple games get away from you last year. That was the entrenched leader, right, running with the ones as you referenced. What's the mindset of this program you think heading into the offseason now that you conclude spring about turning those losses into wins and putting yourself in a position to win the North? Yeah, well, we all had a bad taste out of our mouth, especially after, I mean, after the bowl game. We felt we, that one got away from us, too. And, uh, yeah, I think turning that around, it just, this comes with, with our own team. You know, it comes from within the leadership on our team. And uh, I think we all know we have a great team. We have a lot of returning guys that can win a lot of football games for us. So I think going forward, it's just kind of putting that thing all together, taking what we got here in spring, taking it towards the summer, working out with Coach Mack in the weight room, you know, getting bigger, faster, stronger for that season. All right, last thing. When you're in that three wide receiver set, and then you add in Trey Lowe and your tight end Musgrave. What are you thinking when you're about to get the snap? Oh, I mean, I, I love it. You know, that, that, that five wide out set, I think it really puts uh, a lot of, you know, it puts a lot of stress on the defensive coordinators when you got a guy like Trey Lowe because he's really efficient running the ball, running routes. And, you know, so catching the ball, running routes, it's very hard for linebackers to kind of cover. So I think it puts defensive coordinators in a really messed up situation. Then you got Musgrave, who's just as fast as the safeties, so he can run, you know, with anybody. So, I mean, uh, it's a dynamic that we love to have here, and uh, I think the coaches have been doing a good job of kind of exper experimenting with that, and uh, yeah, for sure. I love it. All right, Chance Nolan, appreciate the time and the poise here on the sideline as they're playing behind us, Nigel. Dude didn't flinch one time.